Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing as Daphne Cortez leads us in the national anthem. President of Grads College. I'm happy to welcome graduates, family and guests, members of the board and honorees, alumni, faculty, and administrators. It is my pleasure to welcome you to the 112th commencement ceremony of Grads College. For over a century, Grads College has been preparing teachers and communal professionals who become leaders in their professions and communities. Our core values, respect for knowledge, inspiring study, academic excellence, and respect for the individual will be passed on by you as you inspire others to reach for the highest standards of learning and leadership. We are proud of the accomplishments that have brought you to this moment and we will reap pride from your future accomplishments. Each week, it is customary in the Sabbath service to read a portion of the Torah, the five books of Moses. This coming Sabbath, we will read the first chapter of the book of Numbers, in which God instructs Moses to conduct a census of the people. Indeed, there were 10 occasions in which the people were counted and the great biblical commentator, Rashi, noted that this was an, an expression of God's appreciation and love for the people. In that spirit, I want to count all of our 2011-12 graduates, a census of 306 men and women who have earned degrees and academic certificates this year, who will teach and inspire and help others and who will daily exemplify the value of tikkun olam, repairing an imperfect world. Congratulations to all of you. The great American poet, Ralph Waldo Emerson, wrote the following, to give of oneself, to leave the world a bit better, whether by a healthy child, a garden patch, or a redeemed social condition, to know even one life has breathed easier because you have lived. This is to have succeeded. May each of you epitomize this type of success every day. I would like to welcome Mike Kuzala, Director of Instruction for Regional Training Center, Assistant Professor of Education in our Master of Arts in Education program, to offer a welcome. I'm 
behalf of the Regional Training Center, it is my sincere pleasure to offer you congratulations on your achievement today. Robert Greenleaf said, purpose and laughter are the twins that must not separate. Each is empty without the other. Your purpose is the greatest vocation, the education of children. If you believe the data, the newscasts, and the headlines, it is a difficult time in education to be a teacher. But I say this isn't so because every morning you get to engage the teaching and learning process. This hasn't changed in hundreds of years and will not change even after you are long out of the profession. Your perspective and perception of that interaction provides you the joy and, and laughter of your purpose. No one can take that away from you. Today you have been labeled a master of your craft. This is critical because you will often encounter students who are on a determined educational path and they need you. But the one out of three freshmen in this country who won't graduate, they need you also. And the one out of three kids in this country born in the year, in the year 2000 who will become a diabetic, they need you. And the 44% of children in the United States who qualify for free or reduced lunch, signifying a deeper educational problem, they need you as well. Every day, every student deserves nothing less than the best you have to give. As a master teacher, they count on you. The Gratz College Regional Training Center master's degree gives you much food for thought, from how the brain learns to how to differentiate instruction to how to manage and include all students. You now have a wide array of research strategies and tools to make sure your classroom is the very best it can be every day for every student. But I will leave you with the words of Mary Kay Ash. Ideas are a dime a dozen. People who implement them are priceless. As a master teacher, knowledge is crucial and implementation is imperative. The Regional Training Center thanks you for taking part in this program and hopes that it inspires you to create excellent places for students to learn in order to find new heights of educational success. Thank you. On our honorees, we will start with Sister Mary Boys. <laughs> Mrs. President, I have the high honor and distinct privilege of presenting to you Sister Mary C. Boyce for the degree of Doctor of Humane Letters, Honoris Causa. Professor Mary C. Boys is a prominent scholar and theologian who promotes deep understanding between Christians and Jews. She received her master's and doctoral degrees from Columbia University in a joint program with Union Theological Seminary and has done advanced study at the Ecumenical Institute for Theological Research in Jerusalem, Israel. A former professor at Boston College, Dr. Boyce has been the Skinner and McAlpin Professor of Practical Theology at, Urban, at Union Theological Seminary in New York City since 1994. She also serves as an adjunct faculty member at the Jewish Theological Seminary of America and Teachers College of Columbia University. A highly respected expert on interreligious issues, Dr. Boyce was a Lilly Research Fellow and a Henry Luce III Fellow in Theology and is a member of the editorial boards of many religious education journals. She is also a member of numerous boards, including the Tannenbaum Center for Interreligious Understanding and the National Catholic Center for Holocaust Education, and serves on the advisory committee for the Secretariat for Ecumenical and Interreligious Affairs of the United States Conference of Catholic Bishops. She is the author of five books and dozens of journal articles, and since 1965 has been a member of the Sisters of the Holy Names of Jesus and Mary, a congregation of Roman Catholic women. In recognition of these accomplishments, 
the faculty and board of governors of Gratz College have voted unanimously to confer upon you the highest honor they can bestow. Thus, by the authority of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, granted to the Board of Governors of Gratz College by the Act of the Legislature in 1849, and by the authority vested by them in me as President, I do hereby confer upon you, Sister Mary Boys, the degree of Doctor of Humane Letters, Honoris Causa, in witness whereof, I cause the hood of that high office to be placed upon you. Congratulations. President Goldstein, members of the Board of Governors, Dean Kutnick, and members of the faculty, and most especially the 2012 graduates of Gratz College and your families and friends. Thank you so much for this honor, for the invitation to participate in your commencement and the rece receiving this degree. I receive it with a heart full of gratitude mindful of the many wonderful people I have met through involvement in interreligious work. In particular, I want to acknowledge Gratz's own Ruth Sandberg, the Leonard and Ethel Landau Professor of Rabbinics, whom I met many years ago when she was involved in Jewish-Catholic dialogue in partnership with Villanova University. She now directs the newly launched Graduate Certificate in Jewish Christian Studies. May this program flourish. Rabbi and medieval scholar Michael Signer, may his memory be a blessing, taught at the University of Notre Dame, that well-known Jewish institution in South Bend, Indiana. And he was one of the most significant contributors to Jewish Christian dialogue. He frequently drew upon the image of the mirror to speak about dialogue between Jews and Christians. He often quoted the 12th century poet, Alan of Lille, all creatures of the world, like a book or a picture, are a mirror for each other. Jews and Christians, Rabbi Signer believed, mirror each other. As he said, when we are at our best with respect to our two traditions, we can see through the glass darkly the outlines of, our, of the other's traditions. As we recognize those outlines, we come to see parts of ourselves that we might otherwise overlook. May this new program at Gratz contribute to the revival of relations between Jews and Christians in which we become true mirrors of one another, revealing the profundity of our respective traditions and witnessing to the world that reconciliation is possible. And may all the graduates of Gratz, and particularly this class, be a blessing for our world. Thank you, Dr. Boyce. Uh, we will now confer an honorary doctorate on Toby Carton. I would like to ask uh, Lyndall Miller and Dr. John Parkin to approach the podium. Toby? Mrs. President, I have the high honor and distinct privilege of presenting to you Toby J. Carton for the degree of Director of Humane Letters, Honoris Causa. Toby Carton is an experienced educator who has worked in the field of special education since 1976 and is known as a great advocate for inclusion practices. 
Ms. Carton has authored several books about inclusion practices, which are currently used for instruction on many school campuses throughout the world. Her latest book, Embracing Disabilities in the Classroom, Strategies to Maximize Student Assets, embodies her belief that every student is a winner, that every student should receive the highest quality of instruction, and that that instruction should be delivered by a highly trained and prepared staff. She firmly believes that inclusion is not just a strategy, but a way of life. She has been recognized by both the Council for Exceptional Children and the New Jersey Department of Education as an exemplary educator, receiving two Teacher of the Year awards. In recognition of these accomplishments, the faculty and Board of Governors of Gratz College have voted unanimously to confer upon you the highest degree and honor they can bestow. Thus, by the authority of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, granted to the Board of Governors of Gratz College, by an act of the legislature in 1849, and by the authority vested by them in me as president, I do hereby confer upon you, Toby J. Carton, the honorary degree of humane letters, honoris causa, in witness whereof, I cause the hood of that high office to be placed upon you. Congratulations. Let me begin by offering my congratulations to the students who are graduating today. Uh, I wish you many more future accolades as you imprint your mark upon the world. I would also like to congratulate Sister Mary Boyce and Bruce Holberg, who are also receiving their honorary doctorates today. I'm in very good company. Thank you to President Joy Goldstein, Jerry Kutnick, Dean of Academic Affairs, uh, Master of Arts Education Director Joyce Ness, and the Gratz faculty and staff. Many thanks to Diana Ramsey, John Parkin, Mike Kuzala, Jim Gilbert, Dale Miller, and the entire RTC cadre of instructors and staff. I am privileged to be here today at the 112th commencement at Grads College to receive this academic distinction. Okay, a little bit of history. Back in, don't do the math. Back in 1995, I met a brilliant uh, woman by the name of Diana Ramsey, who is the president of the Regional Training Center, and a brilliant man by the name of John Parkin, the executive vice president and administrative director, who had this uh, pioneer kind of idea about creating engaging professional graduate level courses for teachers. And their goal was for educators to become lifelong learners. And I think that everyone should be a lifelong learner, not just an educator. But what they said, what they wanted students to read the benefit of these teachers being lifelong learners. I remember meeting Diana and John over 15 years ago and telling them about a course that I envisioned that would help teachers to instruct students with disabilities to learn side by side by their peers. Well, since 1997, that course, Skills and Strategies for Inclusion and Disability Awareness, has been taken by scores of graduate students across the Mid-Atlantic region with accreditation in Pennsylvania received here at Gratz College. Much appreciation is extended to Diana, John, and the entire faculty at Gratz College for sharing my passion to positively impact educators of students with disabilities who are now more often than not instructed in their least restrictive environment of the general education classroom. You have been my partners throughout the years to offer high expectations of learning for all students. And I'm pleased to say that course feedback has confirmed one of my objectives of the course, which is to help educators see beyond students' labels to recognize, tap into, and to maximize each child's abilities. I was kind of fortunate because at a young age, I knew what I wanted to do, and I wanted to teach students with differences. And I've been quite blessed throughout the years to also call my vocation my passion. Midrash says that as you teach, you learn. And in my 36 years of teaching, I could not agree with that statement more. I've been fortunate to instruct students from the preschool to the graduate level who have also been my teachers. 
Each student presented an opportunity for me to figure out how to teach and reach him or her on a level that would yield academic, social, emotional, and lifelong successes. I want to thank each of my students who allowed me to share my knowledge with them. I treasure the relationships that we forged. In addition to all the people I mentioned, I would also like to thank my family, my husband, my mom, my dad, and my son for your support and endless love throughout the years. Many excellent wishes for continued learning to all of you. You have an excellent foundation here at Grads College. Discover and uncover your passion and continually share it with others and many successes will follow. Thank you to everyone at Grads College and my colleagues at the Regional Training Center for this recognition. It is with great pride that I accept this esteemed distinction. Thank you. Thank you, Toby. It is my honor now to confer an honorary degree on Bruce H. Holberg. I will be assisted by Dr. Joseph Davis and Dr. Ernest Kahn. Bruce? Mr. President, I have the high honor and distinct privilege of presenting to you Mr. Bruce H. Holberg for the degree of Doctor of Humane Letters, Honoris Causa. Bruce H. Holberg has been the Chairman of the Board of Governors of Gratz College since 2007-2008. Mr. Holberg has been a board member for 12 years serving previously as Chair of the Continuing Education Committee and Vice Chair for Finance. His commitment to the college is both extraordinary and remarkable, and he has seen the college through challenging transitional times, serving as Board Chair and Acting President for most of academic year 2009-2010. In order to provide stability and leadership, the board requested that Mr. Holberg continue his role as chairman beyond his three-year term. He has now been immersed as board chair of Gratz College for five years. Under Mr. Holberg's leadership, the institution recently completed a strategic planning process which yielded a set of recommendations that form a roadmap for the college through 2015. Implementation of several initiatives have resulted in the addition of three new academic programs this year. Mr. Holberg spent a 35-year career in broadcasting, owning and operating radio stations in Texas, Michigan, Philadelphia, Chicago, and Baltimore. He was a highly respected entrepreneur and operator in radio, with an expertise in building successful programs, corporate renewal, and turnaround. The stations under his direction regularly received community service awards, including a presidential award for anti-drug programs. Mr. Holberg has lent his passion and the expertise gained from these experiences to Gratz College, helping to improve, stabilize, strengthen and position the institution for the future. In recognition of these accomplishments, the faculty and Board of Governors of Gratz College have voted unanimously to confer upon you the highest honor they can bestow. Thus, by the authority of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, granted to the Board of Governors of Gratz College, by an act of the legislature in 1849, and by the authority vested by them in me as president, I do hereby confer upon you, Bruce H. Holberg, the degree of, of Doctor of Humane Letters, Honoris Causa, in witness whereof I cause the hood of that high office to be placed upon you. Congratulations.
Thank you, Dr. Davis and Dr. Khan. Ernie, by the way, is one of my heroes. He's done so much in the Jewish community uh, here in Philadelphia that the president of the Jewish Federation once referred to him as Philadelphia Judaism's designated hitter. He's been an advisor, a confidant, and a friend to me and to this institution in so many ways. I'd like to express my gratitude as well to President Goldstein, the administration, the faculty, our partners at the Regional Training Center, the lay leadership, our uh, President Emeritus, Jonathan Rosenbaum, my family, and friends. Thanks for the support and recognition, and in view of the two previous honorees, I have to say I hardly feel that I deserve them. When I was thinking about what this award means to me, in addition to receiving this nifty hoodie, it occurred to me that it represents the power of tenacity. That quality of visualizing your goal and going for it, regardless of how many people say no, or the magnitude of the obstacles life throws in your way. In this day and age, tenacity is not always positively received. Persistence is sometimes greeted with, oi, that nudge again. Tenacity, working unfailingly to reach a goal, is why you are here and why we celebrate with you at this commencement. Tenacity is why I get to speak with you today. Well, as those of you who are listening to the introduction already know, my career was in the, uh, the field of radio. In this market, you may know my work by call letters, WIP, WMMR.